Hi again. This is going to be another one of the very, very easy to tie patterns, um, which will catch a lot of trout on most still waters throughout the United Kingdom. Um, it's an ecstasy worm. It's nothing too difficult to tie. Fished under the indicator, it will catch a heck of a lot of fish. Um, a lot of people tie it differently to me. This is how I tie it. It's dead simple. Just take up. I, I prefer, once again, I've said before, I prefer tin head hook, but I know most of you can't get hold of tin head, so, tin head hook. So, just what you want is a wide gape hook, something you tie a blob on. Um, I use a 3.2 mil hothead brass bead. You could use tungsten if you wish. It'll go it down a bit quicker. Uh, stick it in the vise. Once again, thread colour doesn't matter. You can use any colour thread you like. Um, I, t I tend to use this white all the time. Um, it can be coloured if you really need to colour it with a felt pen. But any colour because when you finish the fly the thread is going to be hidden anyway so don't worry about the colour. It's going to be an easy t fly to tie and also it's n there's not a lot of materials. Basically that's what I've showed you in materials. And ecstasy. Once again the colour of ecstasy doesn't really matter. If you go with the colour, I know a lot of people who um, are trying to tie flies for themselves, certainly early early starters, because this is an easy fly to tie it doesn't need a lot of materials, it's great for the beginner. As a beginner when you're first starting to tie flies it is difficult to have all the materials. Um, and it can be very expensive to buy a lot of materials to do some of the flies. Personally, I think some of the flies are over. We overthink as anglers far too many materials in uh, to catch fish. You could probably do away with some of the materials um, if you if you're just a if you're just new to fly fishing and you want to catch a few fish, um, then you know sticks stay simple. You don't you don't have to have a a whole fly box full of fancy patterns just to catch a few fish. As you get into it and you've caught a few fish, then yeah, you'll probably want to progress to other patterns. You know, you want to, and it's the same with the fly tying. Um, the more you get into the fly tying, you'll want to progress into fancier patterns. You know, you want different buzzers, you know, nymphs, damsels, lures, you know, whichever way you want to go. But for now, um, I would stick with it, something easy. All you want to do is go on the water, catch a few fish, and then develop from there. Anyway, back to this. I've just got, as as ever, a better. I like to put a bit of uh, thread all the way down the hook shank. I'll take it right to the back, just before the bend, and then I come forward two. And the reason I do that is it's to stop the body slipping around the shank. Now take the ecstasy. I'm using this is a pink coral, I quite like this colour. Um, now all I do is the length doesn't really matter, it's about two inches, two and a half inches. Put it in at the tail and then cinch it one one wrap over. And then I usually put another three. One, two, three. Now that's quite tight. Now what I do is I'll take the the rest of the material back and I'll put three tight turns in front of the material where the tail is and that stops us from twisting round and moving. Then I'll take my thread forward. You can't put a, a half hitch in just to stop anything moving. Now I tend to wrap three turns, three to four turns. One right round at the back, one in the middle, stroking the fibres back each time and another one. Now because there's still movement between the ecstasy and the bead, I'll put another wrap. 
constant movement and I'll try and do it so that until there's no movement with the bead. Bring the ecstasy to the top and put a wrap over it, over the top behind the bead. Pull it back and then two or three turns of thread between the bead and the ecstasy. Now what I tend to do now is I'll cut, I'll cut it to length and I, I just take them up, I stroke them back both lengths here and then I cut that like that so that you've got that but a will fish like that now when I move that forward the forward piece I want three turns one two three tight turns and then one in front between the bead and the ecstasy now what I'll do now is I add my varnish and I just take it off the brush and I add it a little bit, probably about half an inch to an inch on the thread and then I'll wrap the thread between the bead and the ecstasy and that way what it does is the varnish goes on evenly, it doesn't clog up. If you, if you were just to put a dot of it in there um, it would clog the the ecstasy would just take it up um, be like blotting paper I would take it up and you'll end up with a hard piece in there if I put when I put it on like this it tends to spread a lot better and you don't get any hard bits whip finish four turns um, uh, and that's it Absolutely nothing to that fly at all. Very little in the way of materials other than the ecstasy. Most people, you, you probably have beads and hooks, you, you can use any hook you like. And I don't even, and you can brush it, you can take a velcro, a piece of velcro, you know, and you can, you can tart it all up. Personally, I'd just leave it like that because once it gets wet, it's going to work very very well. Now when that's under the indicator it'll sit like that under the indicator and these legs will just work. Yeah the odd time you may get one wrap around the the hook you know but it is just going to be the odd one. Nothing to worry about. And that there will catch you a lot of trout. Very very easy to tie um, and go with the colours that you like the most all I would say the colour isn't that important what the important thing is is getting that fly in front of the fish whether the fish is hungry or not if it sees something in front of it it'll have a go out of just out of curiosity uh, so don't get hung up on the colour if you know yeah, it could be yellow it could be mojito's quite nice in this colour um, it fishes really well under the indicator as, a, as an ecstasy worm but don't get hung up on the colours well, I hope this has been of some help to you. Um, I'll try and think of something else that's nice and easy for people to tie and put another video. Thanks very much for watching.